Hi, I'm George, and I'm here with another Double E video. So, let's take a look at this problem. We'll be able to get through this super quick. We're looking... All we want to do is calculate the Elmore delay at three nodes. Node 1, Node 5, and Node 6. Now, if you've never done Elmore delay before, maybe you're thinking, Oh my goodness, how am I going to handle this? But, let me show you. Um, one tactic that's super simple. Um, there, there's... There are several ways to calculate delay. Elmore delay is one of the simpler ones. There's two ways to do it. I'm only going to show you one because I find it to be easier. So let's get started. Node 1. All we have to do is take a look at the at the Elmore or at the um, resistance across this resistor and the capacitances that are downstream from that node. So all I'm going to do is write R1 times C1 plus C2 plus C3, C4 plus C5, and C6. And I'm done. That is A. The end. So, look simple? It, it's simple. Let's do B. This one's a little more complicated, because now we're traveling away from our first node. So, what's our path of propagation? We're trying to get from, from our input, which is right here, to node 5. So, we've got to travel this way. What does that mean? We have to find these equivalent equations for this, 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 and this. Notice that R3 is not in our propagation path, so we ignore it. Alright, super easy, let's get started. Alright, so, our first equation, or our first expression is going to be R1 times all the downstream resistors. In fact, let me just copy this, copy, and paste, And it may have been faster just to, uh, we'll just shrink it down. We know what it is. You don't have to be able to read it. There you go. Plus, now we're looking at R2. R2 times everything downstream from this node, which is C2, C3, C4, C5, and that's it. Notice it's C6. Not downstream. C1, not downstream. We don't write them down. All right, next, plus R4. Because that's our propagation path. So we go across R4, everything downstream from that node, times C4 plus C5. And finally, R5 times C5. Now, that's it. You can take stuff, move it around, factor it out. You can also do it looking at only the capacitors, not the resistors. I think this is an easier way of looking at it. You might not if you want to use capacitors, so that's totally fine. This is just one way of doing it. So, let's do C. Now, just like with A and B, this is our propagation path from the input to six. We're only looking at two resistors. So, our answer to C, and you know what, I'm just gonna move this over here. There you go. It is R1 times that guy. plus R6 times C6. And that's it, you're done. So, hopefully you didn't think that was difficult. This is a, Elmore delay is not hard when you get under, when, when you really get down and just do it, piece of cake. If this is your first time doing it, hopefully this helped illuminate kind of 
how it works for you. I hope you found this educational like I did, and uh, good luck.